Greetings courageous adventurers and our ever faithful subscribers. Welcome once again to the enthralling world of Call of Dragons. We're genuinely delighted to have you join us for another captivating journey through this epic realm. Without any more delay, let's plunge straight into the heart of our adventure. Nika is a fleet-foot halfling born in Aldalti in 1149. In 1168, she joined the Halfling Assassin's Guild after being trained by her father. She became the guild's two assassin and captain of the Band of the Old. In 1177, she voted for the Independence Faction during a meeting to decide the future of the Assassin's Guild. She accepted employment from House Skull and began fighting Darklings in 1196. Nika is a legendary infantry hero that is extremely good at the beginning. She will help you with leveling other infantry heroes because of her peacekeeping talent and skills. The problem with Nika is that she has peacekeeping skills and talent. As time goes on and new infantry heroes come to Call of Dragons, she will only lose value. So if you are free to play player, it is not best to invest in her. Look for heroes that are tier A and tier S or save hero tokens. Let's dive into Nika's skills. One of the standout traits of Nika is her impressive damage output. Her first skill is something you'd want to max out. This skill, dealing a physical damage factor of 1500, is a melee range attack inflicting substantial damage on an enemy legion. As an added bonus, it also reduces the enemy's HP by 30% for 3 seconds. Nika's second skill is tailor-made for peacekeeping, specifically for battling darklings and dark creatures. This skill gives a hefty 30% damage bonus, making your peacekeeping missions considerably easier. Her third skill, Night Prowler, a passive one, boosts the infantry units led by Nika by granting a 20% physical attack bonus and a 10% marching speed bonus. This increased marching speed is particularly advantageous when going against cavalry units. Blade Maelstrom, Nika's fourth skill, augments her hero skill damage by 10% and counterattack by 20%. The counter-attack aspect is crucial as tanking or absorbing enemy damage is a significant part of an infantry player's strategy. Now, Nika's awakened skill provides a 50% chance of dealing an additional hero skill damage factor of 500 when launching a normal attack. The catch is this only triggers if the target has fewer than 50% units remaining and can only trigger once every 2 seconds. Now, let's move to Nika Talent Tree. The recommended talent build for Nika is heavy on the infantry path, focusing on counter-attack damage and healing. This build is excellent for absorbing damage. So, pick overall attack, then overall defense, overall health, and then mighty power. From infantry branch, pick infantry defense, then pick egoism. Pick Adrenaline Rush and choose Cool Headed. Pick All Conquering. Then pick Last Word. Then you pick Flank Protection. And finally, you pick Ready for Battle. Then we move to Skills Branch A and pick Overall Attack, Overall Health. And then we pick last word. And finally, Spirit of Rage. Now, the best paying suggestions. Pairing Nika with Garwood and focusing on healing can be quite effective. Or if you have Madeline, she is the best because Madeline is along Nika, probably the strongest infantry combo you run right, right now. And as Madeline also deals some skill damage, Nika's first skill buff is not wasted. You although want to consider running Madeline as the primary commander in this unless you have your Nika developed a lot further than your Madeline. Thank you for joining us in today's discussion. We genuinely appreciate your support. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your continued engagement means the world to us. Until next time, stay tuned.